Okay, uh, I'm going to show you how to make chords with the uh, ZS001 um, and it's pretty simple what we need, the minimum we need is the ZS001 on one channel here it's on channel one in Ableton and we need something to generate the sound on another channel so here I've got the uh, UHE ACE synthesizer and um, I've just picked a lead sound from that and what we're going to do is we're going to make that uh, make some chords. So what we must have when we make our chords is in the channel with our ZS001, we must have a feed clip. Okay, um, here I'm just making one here in uh, in blue. So this gives us the timing of the chords. That's all it does. It doesn't uh, it doesn't matter where in the XY direction, up down direction, I put the notes these notes are going to be turned into chords so uh, let's say we've got uh, hang on, one, two, three, four, five, six okay, six notes here now um, what we need to do is we need to set up the uh, ZS001 for chord generation. Um, we can use any key we like, so let's randomize the root note. So we've got G sharp, randomize the key, natural minor. Um, we've got this set to six notes, and we're going to use the default octave. Um, and what's really important to get nice patterns is the probability of repeated chords. I'd set that pretty high, so we're going to set that to 35%. So uh, a lot of nice patterns you'll get repeated chords um, and that's really important so maximum number of repeats let's have that to four okay and now we're going to uh, what we do is we're going to hear um, the ace channel is record enabled okay and it's got the MIDI coming from the left hand channel the ZS1 channel that's absolutely vital otherwise you won't hear anything um, and we've got this lead patch, so let's let's record and see what we get. If we press record, we'll hear nothing. It's recording, and we've got to press play on the feed clip, and we should see and hear the chords. Okay, so what you get, uh, it's not all fantastic, but you can hear some pretty nice uh, chords going on there. Um, let me just explain to you what, what the machine does. Every time that pattern plays, those six notes are played on the feed clip, uh, we create one cycle in ZS001, what's called a cycle. So that is actually uh, six notes here. Um, now, what we've got is uh, here you've got a chord being played with two repeats, another chord. At the end of the cycle, you have these two chords here. Now, what they're actually known as is here is the dominant V7 chord and here is the I chord. When you hear those two chords, that's called an authentic cadence, and it just kind of gives a uh, final... Um, final sounds to the uh, the cycle so let's listen to that and ZS001 will always produce a fi uh, an authentic cadence at the end of each cycle so if you look here if I just move through the cycles you can see the last two chords are the same okay and the others are not randomly generated, they're generated according to classical musical theory um, uh, rules for, for chord progressions. Okay, so yeah, so let's have a quick listen and see if any of these loops on its own sounds any good. So. So 
there we go. That's that sounds quite nice. You might want to work uh, just with that. So you could, for example, crop the clip in Ableton, and there we go. There's a, a nice, uh, nice cycle. Uh, if I actually undo the crop uh, there, um, we can see that's just one cycle of many. Uh, each set of cycles is called a generation. So a generation has uh, a number of cycles. A generation is. Uh, corresponds to a clip in Ableton Live. Okay, so that's actually how we make um, chord progressions using ZS001, just simply using a feed clip and making sure uh, that all the parameters are set up. The, the whole point is this isn't supposed to be some kind of cure-all, you know, you just use it and it makes you a tune. You're supposed to use the bits that you like. So really, you're getting uh, you're getting a load of chords that conform to classical music theory and you don't there's nothing there's no symbols weird symbols of of notation you know you won't see any any musical notation apart from just the letters uh, c up to b it's just using standard clips uh, in your sequencer that you should be used to like Ableton Live um, and all of that classical music theory is abstracted away uh, it's generating chords that conform to that for you and you're just getting pure pure uh, music that you can use in your projects so that's it oh okay one more thing uh, two more things this kill hanging notes button should you ever get a hanging note for example might look like this okay it's just a stuck note press kill hanging notes and it will get rid of it in, in real time um, and then of course toggle cadence mode we just talked about this uh, this this four note chord and this three note chord here at the end of the, every cycle that's a cadence okay what uh, the machine can do for uh, if we're dealing with more than if we're dealing with 10, 12, 14 or 16 chord cycles, if we use, if we press toggle cadence, it will force the machine to make midway through the progression, midway through each cycle, it will force the machine to make another uh, cadence 95% of the time. It doesn't always happen, but... And, and what that's supposed to do, that will not be an authentic cadence. That won't be dominant uh, V7 chord I. It will be another type of cadence, which will just add to the uh, the kind of satisfaction that the ear and the brain hear when we hear the dominant 7 I chord at the end of the cycle. So, yeah, that, that's uh, forcing cadences. And there we go. That's That's it. I hope you enjoy it. You can use the demo. The demo is absolutely functional. The key detection is given as a freebie. That works in the demo um, forever. The key correction in the demo, you're limited to natural minor C. Okay, So you can make the progressions or, or, or change the, the patterns, but you're limited to being in natural minor C. Um, and... These functions don't work, obviously, in correct uh, the demo corrector mode. And the progression generation, again, you can use all of this, but you can't use t uh, cadence mode for extra cadence, and you can't, um, you're limited to natural minor C. Okay, there's one more thing we can do with uh, ZS001, and that is, okay, we've still got the, the poly KB on this channel, okay? And on that, that channel's been fed the MIDI from channel one. Okay, and what we can do, I've got a keyboard uh, connected up to the channel one. So um, I can actually, if I press in here in Ableton, I can play.
play the keyboard live. And at the moment, what you get, uh, what you press is what you get. But if I select a key, so I can say major uh, D sharp, then it will remap the live playing into a certain key. So anything you play will be actually in that key. So if I press record here, okay here. So there we go, that's um, uh, that's using it like that to play live. So you can play live into it as well and force it into any key. Here I was just going down the keyboard like that, but you see it missed some of the uh, notes because um, I was forcing it into uh, D, D sharp major. Okay, there we go. Um, the website is uh, www.davechambers.biz slash Zoabis. Currently, you can download the demos from the Zoabis Facebook page until the normal website is up and running. And uh, yeah, 20 euros. Buy it. You'll, you'll have endless, uh, endless creative... Uh, food for your tunes. The other YouTube video uh, shows how to use the simpler key detection and key correction sections of the ZS001. So have a look at that for uh, information on how to use those, those additional features. Okay, thanks for watching.